Well, polo is the sport of kings, and that's quite literal. I'm with Ricky. He plays polo in Wales, and he's played with some very fancy royalty. Yeah, and more so Pete. Pete, who's joining me, uh, plays with the princes, etc. We've been lucky. We've been here now. This is year 12 for us of the 13 you guys have had, and they grandfathered us in until we become grandfathers, I think, so that's good. But we're, our um, patron, the Prince of Wales, is now the king. Uh, so, yeah, we've, uh, I think that was our unique appeal in the first, first year or two, but we're still here. <laughs> How would you describe this event, the Bentley Scottsdale Polo Championships? Well, I always say that this is the best polo event in the world, okay? Because what you do unique here in Scottsdale, you've got the ASU crowd over here in th this party tent. You've got, uh, you know, the Bentley bringing their high-end customers here. You've got events within events. You've got Canine Couture here. You'll come on to in a moment. There's so many different things going on. It's a party within a party. It's a Russian doll of polo parties. <laughs> Pete... Pete has an interesting story because recently I was moved to see LeBron James and his son, Bronny, playing together. Pete plays polo with his son. Yeah, first year. I've done it. Yeah, here. We played against him a couple of years ago, and we drew that match. So, yeah, it's sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing when you play with your son. But Where's Junior right now? Um, probably, yeah, he went out last night. He couldn't, he went out. I, I, he's okay, but he didn't make it. You've played with some big names. Prince Harry, for example. How's he at polo? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's good. He's, I've played a lot with Harry and William. We played the 12 goal, which is a level of polo in England. He came and joined us. That was a long time ago, but uh, he's moved over here now, so I don't see him as much. Maybe he'll show up with Megan. Look, it's not just a game. It's also an aesthetic, right? It's a look. I want to show you guys some of the fashions. Gilbert's out here from uh, uh, Phoenix Fashion Week. How would you describe the polo aesthetic? It's so similar to Kentucky Derby. So you have, a, it's Kentucky Derby of the Southwest. I love the men's suits, okay? They look, but look at, look at this. This is a local designer. Look how this suit dress walks. Okay, here she goes. This okay, is from fierce. House of Donaldson. So he, he's been part of Phoenix Fashion Week as well as of our Emerging Designer program. If somebody's watching at home and they're looking in their closet, what should they be wearing? Uh, you wear your uh, flowy dresses. Uh, definitely you're gonna wanna wear some wedge type of shoe, uh, a big chunky heel. Always bring your hat. Uh, Fascinator is always gonna be the, 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 the showstopper. This hot pink fascinator is stunning. You got the shoes to match. By the way, when I think fancy polo, I think ascot like this gentleman. Definitely. I, that was, uh, he, he put that on himself and we just helped style it. He, look, he looks amazing. Do you live in Phoenix or Scottsdale? How often do you get to wear your ascot? Hopefully, you get, you, let's do a trend and, and do it more often. All right, um, it's not only human fashion that we're exploring this morning out at Westworld in Scottsdale. This is a best in show. Oh, hi. Tell me about your dog and his outfit. Okay, this, he's just wearing a, a jacket. But I want to tell you, this is the ribbon that the winner is going to take tomorrow. This is the best in show ribbon for the canine couture. And what's your dog's name? Hermes. Oh, Hermes. <laughs> do you, you want one of those very expensive bags? Do you want a scarf? Why is your dog so good? Because he's a show dog. He knows, yeah. And he's, he's going to go to Westminster next year in New York. Ooh, okay, listen, no pressure, Hermes, but you're expected to win in Westminster, okay? It's not just about fashion. Sometimes you have to perform. I want to take a look down here. Oh, my gosh, Marie Antoinette, welcome to Scottsdale. Uh, thank you so much. I love your outfit. I teach, I teach so in class. I in my design. Oh my gosh, look at the dog matches. What's your dog's name? It's a sweetie heart. Sweetheart? Yeah. And did you make that outfit yourself? Yeah. It's beautiful. How, how would you describe your dog's style? Um, uh, is it uh, designed by Maria Antonieta? Yes, a very let them eat cake, very off with their heads. Marie Antoinette, not demure, not mindful. Yeah, absolutely. Right, and then we have, uh, who do we have here? This is Lupito. Lupito's wearing some kind of an ascot. <laughs> yes, yes. Will Lupita be competing in this best in show? 
Well, look, we got ponies, we got dogs, we got Marie Antoinette, we got ascots, we got fashion. It's all happening out here tomorrow at the largest polo party in the United States. Check it out. It's the Bentley Scottsdale Polo Championships. Stick around. The Arizona Daily Mix will be back in just a few minutes.